Hello, good morning, Dr. Rob and Dr. Steve. It's a beautiful day in the universe. It's How a gorgeous Steve? day today. Chilly Willy? Yeah, we're in the uh, the Arctic uh, freezer uh, this uh, next few days. It's mm-hmm. been beautiful in upstate New York. It's white and snowy and cold. and uh, Been skiing. Been skiing. It's been very nice. It's been very nice. So you got to get out in nature. And, and uh, the whole idea that the weather affects our internal moods. Or it's weather the weather affects our internal moods. It's our decision. It's a choice Mm -hmm. in life. And and I was talking to a couple yesterday that's originally from Los Angeles, as I'm originally from Mm -hmm. Los Angeles, and we were talking a little bit about the weather and looking outside and how hard it is to get out there and it's it's just really challenging. And and we had the conversation about uh, the weather is always above as the ground currently mm-hmm. is below. And how can you begin to change your thoughts about what's out there to create a more beautiful, harmonious, and exuberant, mm-hmm. vibrant mm-hmm. life? It's an inside job. It's an inside That's job. Mm-hmm. And how do you practice that on a more regular basis to, to take all that outside stuff and uh, reframe it? Well, acceptance, you know, acceptance is like, it, it is what it is, you know, that, I know that's a term that's just thrown around these days, but it really, it, it is what it is. So sometimes kind of mentioning what's so, you know, what's so is I'm, I'm sitting here with Dr. Rob, that's what's so, and that's all there is. And I accept, sure, I can think about, ooh, I got these things happening and these things in the future, but as we were talking about this morning, there is no past, there is no future, there's only how we see them in the now. I, I went to uh, a Carol and Miss uh, retreat uh, in Sedona this last week, and she had this great picture of, uh, of uh, a picture of us, uh, uh, and then all these chains that go back to the past and anchor mm. on mm. our past, mm. and how these chains somehow hold us back from moving mm. forward, and how to reframe, rethink them, I think is the best way to learn how to sort of slice them and let them go and let them be. I always believe that it's imagining that all these things were really great for us and are part of our creativity and our evolution mm-hmm. of our growth and make us who we are actually all great people. No matter what mm-hmm. we've come from or where we're going, it's the concept that these things somehow had some good for mm. us. Mm. And, and as you're beginning to paint a picture or uh, create a piece of art, part of it, as you're getting all these pieces together, it kind of looks ugly, and you're not sure where it's going. Mm. But what you need to keep on doing is keep on painting and keep mm. on placing the new pieces of the puzzle together before you see the whole picture and the beauty that we but, are. But what you're leaning into is the beauty the picture to come, the and that's different. That's who I believe makes us up who we are. It's what we're leaning into. So the, the day coming up, the vacation coming up, the 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 business prospect, the you know, not that we always need something new, but we need something to look forward in a way. Not so how how then can we maybe because I always, I've always believed the concept of move forward, lean forward. It, mm-hmm. it, it, it's sort of, it, it, no matter what, trust. as you lean and move forward, you're either going to fall, but the natural mm-hmm, instinct mm-hmm, is, mm-hmm. Is, to, is to move the foot to, right. to prevent you from doing that, and it saves you. But how do you just stand still and, and, and maybe feel the swaying between the past mm-hmm. and the future mm-hmm. and... and and kind of bathe in that beauty and imagine, wow, this is really feels good. And I know all these challenges have happened in my life, and I see their beauty now. Mm. Now, because it's both an illusion that our past makes us up who we are, and our future makes us who. What, but what is is what's right now. I always say, if you if you want to know what you really want in life, look around. This is it. Never gets better than this because this is in the moment. So how to find and seek joy and happiness is neither to find it nor to seek it, but right. to see it in what you have now. Right. 
and that doesn't mean there aren't challenges that are pulling and pushing you and sure. and how do you bathe in that and feel wow this is awesome and amazing and I'm uh, moving forward mm. leaning forward but I like that I like that concept you lean forward and then the foot comes out like that's trust you know you, you uh, fall or fly and we all in this human experience have fear and worry mm. and judgment and we hold these things and regret and, and but that's based on the past because we don't really know how things will turn out in the future we we use our past to, to make up that Ooh, this is bad this is good this is this is that the truth is we don't know and 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 so to trust in what is mm. Mm. in the beauty of what is and be still in what is. Mm. Mm. And I love to use the word love what is mm -hmm. because then the cortisol and epinephrine calm, the oxytocin mm -hmm. and serotonin mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. come up. It's being love. And, and that and stuff that. that you're feeling right deep down in here you 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 go like wow this is good and I love this feeling mm. and I know mm. it's all yeah. yeah is this fear or is this excitement like we don't know it's just a feeling as one teacher said to me it could be gas oh <laughs> and that's all it was yeah and so you got to put a smile mm. you Dr Steve was telling me about uh, taking a, a course on uh, on Do, uh, 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 don't take comedy seriously. It's a six-week course online with a guy named uh, Swami Beyond Ananda. Ananda means bliss, you know. And uh, I've known him for thirty years. But I, I love to see the 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 irony, the pun, the comedy in just life itself. There's always something to laugh about. You have to learn to put a smile and laugh about all the challenges that go on in our lives. And like like skiing, it's amazing that we live through all that. Like, like these lifts and going down at fast speeds on these little skis. On I mean, there's some joke in that. It, it's kind of or, like, pl or planes. What like are they you fly, doing? You know? What do you What do you think you're doing? Yeah. Right? It's risky, not risque. Right. <laughs> and so take the risk today and every day. Mm. That's really the most important mm. thing. And we were talking about a retreat coming up uh, March 28th, two to six, two to six, and we're going to talk about. Uh, how to take what was and what will be and be with what is and be with what is today in the now we're going to focus a little bit on your lifestyle choices mm -hmm. both what you put in here and what you put in here and what comes out and then what comes out in mm -hmm. all of that out there and it's just a, a fun experience for all of us to get together and share. Uh, we're going to be doing it at the uh, CNY Healing Arts, uh, 195 Intrepid Lane, and Mind, Body, Smile, CNY Healing Arts. We'll send out uh, some web uh, correspondence and emails, and uh, Dr. Steve will Absolutely. have some information out there. And we're just grateful to be able to share and connect because we all grow in learning mm. through connecting. We're herd animals. We, you'll, you'll have a be in. We'll be, be we'll, in. We'll be in together. Well, as you said, it's about taking uh, what's out there and it's uh, it's an inside job. And maybe mm. that's going to be much of the conversation, the inside job of life. Mm. Mm. Have another awesome, amazing day in the universe. Mm. Dr. Rob, check out Mind, Body, Smile. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's your website, Dr. Steve? DrSteveRadio.com. That's D-R-S-T-E-V. And, and uh, always, please, share with us your thoughts and ideas of how and, to and improve. For, for this Valentine's Day, be, just be in love. Don't worry about what's happening out there. Just be in love. And my 91-year-old parents, who have been through immense challenges in life, Together in love, I see it. And so whatever challenges you're having with your partner, stand still and see love mm -hmm. in the moment mm -hmm. today, no matter what. Even with yourself. Well, partner could be in the mirror. It, the partner is always in the mirror, and that's the most important 
person to look in the mirror today and every day is look in the mirror and say, thank you, God, for this day, and I love you. Mm. Very important. Mm. And, and again, look to whoever you're with and the challenges and simply, I love you. Mm. Mm. I love you. Please forgive me. How may I do better and help you through this day? Mm. And that's Valentine's Day. Mm. I being loved to you. I love you, Steve. I love you, Rob. God bless to all. Another awesome day in the universe. Dr. Rob. Dr. Steve.